on the agenda today is something so fun. A place that we love to go. We've been going since we were little. And we're gonna take you guys along with us. But first we're going to the barn. We can't have grass. All right, did you guys see that when Stella came up? Like, I don't see, like, her belly doesn't look deflated. Like, there's no, like, but it's different. So different. I like how she has her life with that. You're like, twins. You gotta put your head that way. Like, look that way. Look in this corner. Twins, triplets. <laughs> Storm. It's unfortunate for you, dude. I'm riding you today. <laughs> I'm riding you today. Oh, guys. Two people are riding him, which is not me. I'm riding her, and my mom is riding him. Yeah, I'm riding, yeah, riding him. Stella, you want to the bottle? She gets freaked out. Go really slow. Really slow. Hey, pretty girl. You got it. Here, I'll turn it on her face a bit. Yeah, see, it's just bottle. We would never hurt you. Now remember, rub it on her neck. That's a girl. That's a girl. There you go. You're such a good girl. Yay. Okay. That's good. She doesn't really need a lot of spray. Good girl. And over here in the fashion department is Gabby. Before. Does it actually have straps? Yeah. Straps connect. To the bridle? Yeah. Wow. You look so stupid. <laughs> What's that show that that's in? You look so then, oh, Beauty and the Beast. And then the Beast is like stupid. He's like embarrassed. He's like, take it off me. <laughs> you look pretty in diamonds though. He looks pretty in blue. Yeah, pretty in blue. And over here, in the desensitizing department. No, the scaredy cat. Over here in the scaredy cat department. Good girl, Stella. Look how good she is today. Over here in the fashion show department. Over here in the fashion department. <laughs> He's like embarrassed. Don't show anybody. <laughs> Across the diagonal, right leg turn. Keep that right leg on. Push him over. There you go. Now you're straight. Look up. Right leg, push him over to the wall. You're coming this way though. Squeeze both heels and click at the same time. There you go. You also have a long leg, so you should be able to get more out of him. What? You're gonna get on the street and you're gonna stop. So get him halfway down the wall. No, that's not straight. Get him on the wall and stop. Right leg, shove him over, lean back. On the rail. <laughs> All right. You're drunk, it's fine. Turn him around, put him on the wall. Again? Yeah. Lean that'd, back in your saddle, short your reins a little bit. That'd be a good video. Drunk people riding. <laughs> it's kind of 
entertaining. What? It's kind of entertaining. Now put him on the wall. Left, right, and go. Kick him. Say, come on, sir. So now you're going to go to the right, but you're going to go on the wall. Give him a tap with your whip. Tell him he's to wake up. Shorten your outside brain a little bit. Lean back and ask him to back up. Lift your hands up. Squeeze your heels on. And stop. Take your feet off. No. So, wait. Wait. Don't pull. Push your hands forward and take your feet off. Good. So listen carefully. Your hands are in handcuffs. When I say go, you're going to take both of your hands and you're going to turn your entire body towards Gabby. You're going to stick your right toe towards Gabby and you're going to squeeze with your left heel. You're going to continue past Gabby until you're facing the opposite direction you're going right now. So lean back, pull gently back, put your left leg on. Keep looking, keep looking, keep looking, and stop. Good. And walk on. Wow. Is that like dance piece? That's how you turn around when you ride western. That's it, now let him slow down. Just sink into your saddle, left leg, push him over. <coughs> sink into the saddle. Right rein, open it up, pull him over the wall. Yep, no, 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 sir. No matter what, you keep his nose on the wall. It. Now drop your shoulders back into your pockets and sink into your saddle. And you'll feel them drop down a gear. Jog across the brown pole, so turn. Look straight ahead, hands forward. That's a better job. Switch your whip. At E, you're going to squeeze your left heel and kiss. If he doesn't go by C, give him a tap with the whip. Hey, you just threw. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so do I have to use the whip though? Because I, I don't feel comfortable cantering with the whip. You can drop it once you get into the canner. Well, what if I you drop myself? Because you, I won't, you won't drop it. Then that would make a good video. <laughs> tap, tap. <laughs> like not on the towel. Jog on. Yep, squeeze both heels, click, click, and go. Good. When you ask him to canter with your left heel, you're going to squeeze it and not stop squeezing while you kiss. Go. Loosen your reins, yep. In the wall. You're kind of pulling him over there. Oh, okay. Now pull him over. Oh, man. Okay, I'm trying again. Yep. Don't let him go to the center. Don't let him go to the center. It was the whip that got me. Excuses, excuses. So jog. Squeeze, go, we're going, demand it, both heels. You're trotting, you're only trotting. There you go. That's a little too far away from the wall, eh? Now left heel, hold and kiss. Hands forward, loosen your reins, now look and turn. Turn him, turn him, turn him, turn him. Look up. What the heck is this? A lope. It's a lope. It's a western. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
I think you jumped there. I think you jumped. Your mom jumped. Your mom jumped. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? You missed it. I think I think you jumped on that one. Reenactment by Gabby. Boom. <laughs> Did you see that? Laura's first jump. Laura's first jump. And you missed it. I saw. No, you missed it. No, I saw the. No, you missed it. I saw up in the. Air. I admit it, you missed it. I saw it up in the. Air. <clears throat> she missed it, but I saw it. 
I said jump club here I come I didn't get to see the footage yet all I know was that something crazy happened I was riding along trying to figure out how to candor storm it's hard you guys like you're probably all watching saying do this do that because that's what you feel like doing when um you're watching somebody else not get it but it's really hard like he he's a bit hard and he feels totally different than any other horse I've ever cantered and yeah so anyway in the middle of me trying to get him to canter he's like I'm really bored this is boring let's go over those trot poles and I've done trot poles before and I've trotted over trot poles before but that was faster than like a regular trot did that I, I canter uh, did I canter it yeah I asked Sophie and Sophie said you trotted it did I actually I didn't know I didn't even see it you didn't get the can it. I cantered over over I, I cantered to jump Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> over a pool, jump the oxer. <laughs> I jumped an oxer? Yeah. <laughs> I jumped an oxer. A ground oxer. Uh, I did not. A ground oxer. Those two oh, pools a... far away, but he ground jumped it as one jump. <laughs> <laughs> I closed my eyes. I closed my eyes and screamed. And the thing that's really scary is that I scream. I'm a screamer. I don't know how to control it. I have to work on that. But I close my eyes and then I don't get to see what happened. And, but the crazy thing is is that whenever anything like unusual or unsafe happens, people usually rush. Like if, if my kid is about to fall someplace or get hurt, I rush and I no, grab them. No, you do not. You laugh half to death. And you yeah, I laugh half to death because of nerves. But no, like right. you try and save them. But on a horse, Gabby, you can't. Like nobody can run to your aid when you're on a horse. Nobody oh yeah, can... you can. No, you can't. You're what just am... watching. I was like, is he gonna break through a trap or jump it? That's an awesome. So I actually cantered it. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to see. So that will probably be in this vlog today, tomorrow's vlog, just because I want to see it so bad. We are starving. <clears throat> We're starving Marvin, aren't we? Yeah, starving Marvin. And we are so hungry that we're just gonna eat more fast food junk before we get back to the trailer. And fast food junk of the day is pizza. So we're in pizza pizza and Sophie asked, can I have water? I said, okay, fine, we'll get a water. And they said, do you want a small water or a large water? So I was thinking large water would be like a liter of water. So they said, I'll just go for the small one. And this is what we got. <laughs> I'm like, that's not even a regular bottle of water. Okay, I'm gonna drink that. <laughs> Funny. Things you do when you're waiting for your pizza. <clears throat> what did the digital clock say to the grandfather clock? Clock clock? Look, Gramps, no hands. The digital clock said to the grandfather clock, look Gramps, no hands. Digital clock doesn't have hands. Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, what do you call an apology written in dots and dashes? Um, <clears throat> I don't know. Morse code. What? What's the longest word in the dictionary? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Smiles because there is a mile between each, between, what? We both don't get that. It doesn't make sense. Right. <clears throat> There's a mile between each letter, between S and S, between S's. There's a mile. <laughs> what did one hat say to the other? You stay here. I'll go on ahead. I'll go on ahead. Funny? Uh, I don't know. Kind of. Here, now let's test you. I want to tell you guys something that Sam and I have been talking about a lot lately, and it has to do with you guys. Um, so here's an example. Ruby Gem. Ruby Gem and I. Me. Ruby Gem and me. Ruby Gem and me commented and said it's my birthday today 26 people commented happy birthday and she got 32 thumbs up 32 people thumbs up and 26 people said happy birthday now 
I've looked in the comments of a lot of videos and a lot of vlogs and people do do that kind of stuff but Sam and I have noticed you guys are seriously the best day fam like you guys honestly amaze me you support each other you're kind to each other you guys have made friends in the comments you all know each other you're used to each other you guys know who comments what on each day that's amazing it makes me proud it almost it almost makes me have tears in my eyes this is the first time I'm getting to do comments today this is the first time I'm getting a chance to do comments today and that is the very first thing that I noticed like I can't believe how amazing you guys are like uh, every time I've ever heard vloggers say that in the past I'm like yeah 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 whatever I never thought it was real I always thought it was fake trying to get people to stay with your channel and if you don't want to stay with your channel that's okay I, I have no problem with anybody leaving but here's the thing you guys are so genuine and so kind and so amazing and that's as real as I can ever be like you guys are really just amazing people